Hey guys. So I've got a lot of quests to make uh, no heat, no foam rollers, kind of poodle. Um, so this is my freshly washed hair. It was really gross after my ass poodle because it was so dirty and there's a lot of hairspray. So this is clean hair. This is my all natural hair. Um, so you want to have straight hair or I mean, you can, if you have naturally curly hair, that's a benefit too. Because usually I do poodles with my hair curly. But, you know, either way will work. So, you want to begin by brushing out your hair. Make sure you get all the knots out everywhere. And what I found easiest is to pull back a chunk about this big. Wanna brush through that too, just so there's no knots. And you're just going to wrap around and bump it up just a little tiny bit. This is like a small version of a beehive. I'm just gonna pin it back right there. So you guys can get like a little visual right there. So now you have that little kind of foundation to work with. I started just taking my hair, grabbing it in the center like this, and just working it into a little circle. And then I'm taking a pen and just securing it right there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There's gonna be a ton of little tiny circles like that. Then I'm just gonna take the next chunk of hair. It doesn't matter where you start off at, it's going to have the same result. And I'm just rolling it like I did again. Finding a comfy little spot in my little foundation. Taking another pin and securing it right in that foundation. Now, my hair is a struggle, so I'm gonna have to use another pin to secure that one right there. So you should have just little circles like that. They're just really simple. And then you're just gonna keep taking strands of hair and it could be chunky strands it could be really thin strands for me it works easier if they're a little bit thicker than just basic strands but you're just gonna roll down make sure that ends in there just keep holding on and i'm just placing it in different types of places so it's just all over now for a while I get up there now that I got a couple in the front just to secure because right here I feel like it's my toughest issue so I'm just going to roll these down and pin I'm going to take another section right here and just keep rolling down making that nice circular formation and I'm going to pull this guy right up here and pin oh he wants to be a little naughty so here we go and even if you have like little flyaways like that, you can just pin them down. And because my hair is just so naughty. There you go. Now, this might be a little bit of a challenging part, so it looks like right now. 
but I find it easiest to tilt your head to the side, pull your hair up like this, secure a pin right there, right on that side, so that all your hair's up and it's secured so if you go like that it's not gonna fall over immediately. Then I'm just securing all these little spots where I already have pins. So it's going to look kind of something like this. And you want it to be tight. And then for the back, I'm just going to do the same thing. Pull up. I'm going to try and get back here a little bit to show you what I'm doing. And then just pull up. Pin. So now you have all these little hairs up here. And you might have some flyaways like this. So you just pull up as far as you can and pin. So now it looks fairly flat. And now for this side, I'm just gonna take it up, tilt my head. It looks really funny at first. It's gonna look a little something like this. And if you need flyaways or hairs that just have not got picked up yet, go ahead and secure those. So I have a couple in the back. So this is what it looked like after it's all done. I'm going to now just determine where all my sections are at and I'm just going to take some chunks and I'm going to do what we did earlier and I'm just going to start rolling them. And then I'm going to take a pen and secure it. And if any curls get all fluffied up that have already been done, just go ahead and stick another pin in. And I'm just going to keep doing what we've been doing of just rolling and pinning. You'll want to continue this all around your head. And then you're just going to roll again. And you want to make sure you have an even amount everywhere. So you're just going to continue to make these little rolls. It's not the fastest process, but if you want to go no foam rollers, no heat, it's definitely the best suggestion. Well, the best way to go for a poodle. I mean, I guess it doesn't take that long compared to other other ones, but just for me, I know. I've been trying to go on a no heat kind of thing, but it's kind of hard. So it's easier when you have stuff like this that are so easy to do. And now I'm just finishing up. If you use bigger chunks, it goes by a lot faster. But if you don't, it still doesn't take that long to do. Just a, it's a really fun and easy hairstyle to do. Whether you have, and it's just my process so far on it. It's like a little zoom in. But I mean, whether your hair is really long, or really short, it's, well, I mean, really short as in maybe shorter length, a little bit higher. I feel like up to here you could probably still do a poodle. But it's just the perfect 
style to add the 1940s or the 1950s into your wardrobe. And I'm just kind of tussling it up so it's not... And if you want to keep those really cute, perfect curls, you definitely can. I'm just more of a messy kind of poodle kind of gal. And I still have a couple that are perfect, but I like it to be a little bit messy. And now for my bangs, they're so short. But I'm just going to pull them back and just make a little tiny spiral in the front. And you could definitely wear a hat with it. You could wear it plain. You could take a scarf. This is a really popular hairstyle. And you can make a little bow. Or you can do what I always do and just throw on a clip. You can use whatever flowers you want. Because like this one. You can add flowers. Be a little more tropical. It's just definitely up to whatever you want. 